Hello and welcome back to part 21 of my journey towards my Bachelor's of Science Information Technology degree from Western Governors University. So today's video is kind of like a term one update, you know, it's the end of the year now and I just wanted to give you a quick overview of where I am, how many credit units I've completed so far and then with just over a month left I just wanted to talk to you about uh, an interesting scenario I have and uh, maybe I can get your feedback and uh, comments about what you think I should do uh, with this last month of my term. So as of today, I have 35 days left of my first term. Um, those that remember my original videos, I started on August the 1st, 2020, and my end date for term one is January the 31st, 2021. So those who don't know, uh, Western Governors University, their terms are in six month increments. So my second term will automatically start on February the 1st, 2021. So as of today, I've completed 79% uh, of my uh, degree. So 79%, not bad. Out of that 79%, it's made up of uh, 84 credit units I've actually completed. Uh, that's 26 total classes and uh, a further 11 credit units for free classes that I was able to get um, credit for by completing the Network Plus and Security Plus comp tier exams uh, before starting my degree program so basically they transferred 11 credit units in so that 79 percent basically equates to uh, about 95 credit units so what does that mean i have left well uh, the degree program that i'm doing the information technology degree has 36 classes in total equates to about 131 credit units so i have basically 26 hours left and seven classes so i know it's a lot of information and hopefully i'll put that up on the screen for you so you're able to see so that's where i am with 35 days to go basically i've got 21 percent left or 26 hours or seven classes whichever way you want to paint it so i have an interesting dilemma seven classes left in 35 days at the current rate that i've been working on this uh, degree program that's quite doable to get this done in one term but here's a problem that I've got. A lot of the classes that I have left are actually some of the more difficult ones or some of the more difficult ones that I was assuming were going to be the things that I kind of put off. So as I was completing the classes, I was kind of cherry picking the ones I wanted to do. I was asking my mentor to add them to my program. And I'm now at the back end of my degree program and I'm kind of left with some of the tougher classes. I kind of wish if I could go back in time and tell myself something, I would say, let's try to you know, break this up and not leave myself some of the harder ones to the end. And the part of the problem is his motivation. They're ones that I don't particularly really looking forward to. So I've kind of stumbled just a little bit towards the end here because I'm having trouble motivating myself to basically get to the end. So you're probably wondering what classes I've left to the end. Well, let me tell you. So first of all, Linux Foundations, which is class C851. It's worth three credit units. I haven't done that one yet. That is an external cert class. Uh, my experience of Linux is quite limited. Uh, back in the day, I used to run backups and things like that using the Linux operating system. But really, I haven't got that much experience. And honestly, I'm a little concerned about that one. So I had that one left. I have one math class left, which is finite mathematics, which is C277. I'm actually working on that this week. So hopefully that's four credit units. And I'm hoping that one's not going to be too bad. I've been surprised that the math classes haven't been quite as bad as I feared, but I do have that one left to do. I then have two classes that are kind of connected and they're the data management one. So it's foundations, which is C175 and then applications, which is C170. The foundations is worth three credit units and the applications is worth four. So database, basically, um, in my experience, in my work experience, I've worked with SQL a fair bit in my previous role. So uh, basically querying databases, restoring databases, things like that. So I have a working knowledge, but I would not say I was an expert at any means. So I'm just a little concerned about that one. There is no certification for this. This is all objective assessment. So. I guess I could do that one fairly quickly if it, you know, if I found the information or the material not too bad. So those two classes are basically seven of the 26 I have left credit units. 
Business of IT, project management, class C176 is worth four credit units and I'm working on that one as well. So that's the other one I'm working on right now. So this one is an external certification. Uh, it's from CompTIA again. This is for Project Plus. Now, I did start this one well over a week ago and I was actually fairly close to taking the exam as we talk right now. The only issue I had with this one, because it's an external exam, um, I tried to schedule schedule it but the problem is i guess everybody uh, was taking the exam towards the end of the year and basically the first available date isn't until early in january so that's kind of tripped me up a little bit um i kind of wish i'd uh, known that and i might have been able to get this one done just a little bit earlier by maybe starting middle of the month if you remember one of my previous videos i told you about taking the exams at the end of the month you might run into this problem and this is exactly what's happened i bet you just simply Everybody wants to take a class at the end of the month. Maybe they're on deadlines and all of a sudden there's no available classes. Of course, it's a first come, first play, uh, first person served at um, Pearson VUE, which is the proctoring company that does uh, the exams for CompTIA. And I simply, there was nothing available on the schedule. So um, that one's put me back a bit as well. But I am, I feel pretty confident I could take that class today and, and fingers crossed, hopefully pass. And then the last two classes I have are user interface design, which is C773, which is worth four credit units, and the capstone written project, which is C769, which is another four credit units. Now, the interface design, I've read some of the forums, and I guess this is one of the harder external exams that you have to take. So I was a little bit nervous about this one. Again, it maybe it won't be as bad as I feared, but I've kind of left this one late. Uh, maybe I can do this quickly, I don't know. And then the capstone, now, I've heard lots of different things, but the general consensus is this one does take a little bit of time. Uh, there's three different sections, I believe, and you have to write quite a big paper. Uh, this one could take a couple of weeks from what I've been told. Now, I've also been told that you could, if you have an idea in your mind, and maybe you could turn this one around fairly quickly. Uh, but my concern is I might need a full week or two to be able to complete it. So as you can see, my dilemma is basically with 35 days to go, seven classes left, um, two of the classes I'm kind of almost through, which really only leaves five classes, if you like, with a month to go. It's tight. And honestly, over Christmas and New Year, I've really kind of backed off the study and I couldn't keep the pace up. I, I just needed a break. You know, my mind was kind of melted. So I, I'll be honest with you, I've been a bit lazy the last week or so. Um, really haven't done a great deal of study. You know, I kind of looked at a few things, but didn't touch it. So I've kind of got myself in this situation now. Um, I might end up in a scenario where I might complete three or four of these classes and only end up with two or three left for term two, um, which kind of seems like a little bit of a waste of money. So let me explain that to you. So basically you pay X amount of money per term, regardless of how many classes you do. Now, obviously they want you to do at least four, but you can do as many as you like. So in my situation, I've done 26 already in one term, which obviously I've really got my money's worth. Uh, a term at Western Governor University as of today for this particular degree is about three and a half thousand dollars, give or take a few dollars. So the issue I have is if I roll into that second term, of course, uh, potentially I could be in for another three and a half thousand dollars, depending on how many classes I have left. Now, my mentors explained to me that they will pro rata the classes. So, for example, say you only have two classes left. They won't charge you 3500 They'll just work it out by credit unit. And maybe I just get pipe, uh, uh, get um, charged half of that, for example. So maybe 1750 or something like that, which, you know, isn't too bad. But again, it goes back to that. Well, if I can get it all done in one term, I won't get charged anything. You know, and there's that way up. Now, those in may not see my first video. Uh, my company is actually helping me with this particular uh, degree program. Um, I am responsible for some of it, but uh, they give me so much money per financial year. So the issue I have is if it did roll into term two, obviously I'd have some financial help from my company. But my ultimate goal was to maybe move on to my master's degree in term uh, in next year, 2021. So the more money I spend on term two of my uh, bachelor's degree, the less money I have from them towards help towards my master's. So there is a financial aspect to this. But then the other side of it is I'm just mentally exhausted. And I just really don't know if I can do what is as of today, seven classes in 35 days. I just I just don't know. And these classes I've left, as you can tell, they seem quite hard. 
three or four of them are external certs as well. So I'm interested, you guys that are watching this video, this video today, what do you think? Uh, have you done these classes? How difficult are they? I'd be really interested in your comments. Do you think this is doable? Can I do these last seven classes in 35 days? Um, how hard are they? I mean, I'd be interested to know. So anybody out there that's done those classes, please give me a comment, your feedback. Let me know because right now I'm a little bit despondent and like just looking at the program, I'm just thinking, I don't think I can do this. So there's one other thing I wanted to point out here as well. Um, if you roll into term two, so even if it's pro rata, say you only have one class left, say it's the capstone left or whatever. The problem is you can't start another degree program until the end of the term, regardless of when you complete or when you graduate. So, for example, I roll into term two, say I complete what's left over in February. Basically, I'm stuck until August the 1st, because that's the end of term two before I'll be able to start another degree program. So there is that as well. It's kind of frustrating because you'd think finish in February, take a month break, start my new degree program in April and then just continue because kind of why I'm in this mindset of studying, I'd really want to try to kind of knock them out like an you know, almost like a snowball effect. But waiting four months or five months, I kind of feel like I kind of know me, I might lose interest. Um, so that's a concern. So I don't know why you have to wait. If anybody knows that as well, please put that in the comments why you have to wait to the end of the term. You'd think as soon as you graduated, that would you could start the next first of the month like you know most people can so anyway i'd be interested to know that my mentor really didn't help me too much she just explained it that's just the way it was i don't know if it's a legal requirement or it's a whatever but um i guess i was thinking maybe i could go to another organization so maybe i don't do my masters with western government university maybe i go somewhere else and start on april the first there you know uh, so again if you know that if i can do that if that's possible where it's just a rule across the board you can't start a second degree until your current term ends so if anybody know please let me know so that's kind of where i am uh let me know what you think but overall not a bad first term regardless of where i end i really do feel like i'm gonna get at least a couple more of these classes down i mean i'm 79 percent as it stands right now i am definitely feel very comfortable i'm going to do this within two terms which is was still better than what my goal was but uh just an interesting dilemma with as i say 35 days left well, that's all I have for today. Um, hopefully uh, next week's um, video will give you a bit more information about the two classes that I'm working on now. But like I said, please give me your comments. Let me know what you think. Should I go for it? Should I just just, just roll with the, you know, we'll see where I am, take one at a time. Uh, but I'd be interested to know your thoughts and comments. I hope everybody had a great Christmas, stayed healthy, stayed safe, and uh, happy new year. I hope 2021 is a better year for us all. So take care. Good luck with your study. Let me know how it goes. As always, anything I can do to help, please let me know. I'll be happy to share anything or any notes or advice I can give you.